Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Train Sim World 2. And yes, we are back in Cane Creek, the DLC that uh, we didn't have such a good time with last time. But this time we're going to do Sighting to Sighting, which is a shorter trip. And it's up north by Thompson. So we'll get uh, a 60 mile an hour zone on the line. But other than that, uh, it'll be a little shorter than last time's video. So there is a patch that you can get. I will have it linked in the description below. You can go down there and you can download it. And let me tell you right now, I'm going to pop this up right here and show you exactly where you go to install this patch. If you own Train Sim World 2, you go to your Steam folder, wherever that's located, Steam apps, common, Train Sim World 2, uh, Windows, not editor, TS2 prototype, content and DLC, and you'll just throw that pack right in there and you'll be good to go. So it adds a bunch of fixes to Kang Creek, including fixing a lot of the problems with the engines and also with uh, the sounds. They got rid of the highway noise and they also added a K3LA horn to it instead of the one that was provided before, which I think is the K5LA. Siding to siding and no, we're not going to be operating the ES today. We're going to be operating the SD40. All right, conductor saying we're being held at this signal to allow a high priority westbound train to pass us. We have clearance to proceed when the signal clears. Okay, excellent. So on the rail driver, first things first, I want to make sure this is set to full on my independent brake. I can release these. Actually, you know what? I'm going to keep these on uh, the auto brakes on full for now. Suppression's fine. Neutral there, neutral on that guy, and then get all these set up. They're good to go. Oh, we will have to take the siding again. Okay, gotcha. Not a big deal. Let's go ahead and set the train up for departure. Now, by default, it's not going to be so great. So we're going to come over here and turn some things on, including the ditch lights and the gauge lights. Turn those guys on. We're going to step up here. We're going to come back here. They never turn your number lights on. So I want to turn those on and yeah, why not? Oh, we can keep the engine room lights off. Platform lights are on. That's good. Uh, fuse, I think we have to come over here and turn on this guy and this guy warning devices there we go so we never get the train warnings ever and that is the reason for that now we can turn our you know we'd set these up too we've got our wipers here since it is raining today we're gonna turn those on sun visor don't need it and then over here we can turn our wipers on the right on and the center ones on as well so now we got all three of those guys going we got a train coming check it out whoa damn dude that was amazing. All right, we're going to come over here. Oops. Yep, that and that. Boy, that's loud, ain't it? Sure is. Sure is, man. Well, he is absolutely rocking it. We're going to come back here and do a couple things here. Turn the number lights on. We just have two locos today we're operating, so we're just going to do the same thing we just did. And, yeah, that can be fine. And I think same thing here. Yeah, they weren't on and they weren't on. I don't know why Dovetail doesn't settle the stuff up for you by default. Oh, there's another thing we have to do is I think headlight like control to that one. I, I'm pretty sure that's what the one we need to do. I could be wrong with it. That's all right. But at least now it'll look decent, you know? That's all that matters. Let's cross back over and we'll put these back up. Nope, not you, but you. There you go. Sweet. Awesome. Let's get started. We will be using the rail driver today, so I'll show you that in a minute once we sit down here and get things going. So, engineer seat here, and here's our wonderful rail driver, and we can turn the bell on, and we're going to blast the horn two times, and I'll go to the outside view so you can listen to it, because they did change it. Okay, let's get going. Forward on the reverser, that is checked there. We're released on our auto brakes. And we're going to go ahead and keep this on full. We're going to bring up our throttle to notch one here. Let it climb up and stabilize. And then we'll release our brakes. And we should start rolling since we're, oh, we're on a point two upgrade or uh, uphill. So let's go ahead and go into notch two here. And now we'll go ahead and let that sucker climb up and release the independent brake. There we go. And we're on our way to Thompson Springs passing siding west, 4.6 miles away. There we go. And we're on a 25 mile an hour section here, but that will change. I went ahead and double checked before we started rolling out that this switch was good to go. And the switch we're coming into should be good to go as well. We shouldn't have to touch anything switch wise. So now we can just bring her on up the speed here. We'll go to the next one here, go into notch four. Oop, 
The, the rail driver's a little finicky. Sometimes it likes to skip notches and you have to go back and forth on it. But that's uh, okay. Not a big deal. That's good there. Kill that bell. We don't need it anymore. We're leaving. And we're going to notch six. If it'll let us. There we go. Letting it stabilize. There we are. And then we go into notch seven. And we're going to get this thing all the way up into run eight today. Right out of the gate here. Love it. We got a hill to climb, so I don't think we're going to make it to 25 miles per hour anytime soon. And not to mention here in 1.2 miles, we're going to be in a 60 mile an hour zone. It's 2.1 miles to the yellow signal, which I believe is 45 miles per hour. I could be wrong about that. And run eight. Let's do it. Let's get going. So now we have jumped up into a 60 mile an hour zone here. We're only at 27 and we're doing run eight and we're doing about, yeah, about 30 miles per hour. So I don't think this thing is going to make it all the way up to 60 miles an hour. There's just no way. Not with the weight we have behind us. So let's talk about that patch a little bit. That patch is absolutely amazing. It's, it's made this DLC redeemable for me. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Drop it down, drop it down. We got it. We got you. We got you. See, that's why we turn that, that train uh, warning on a system so we actually get that. Before I wouldn't, I'd be like, why is why am I having issues? And it's like, uh, yeah. It did not like running in run eight up this hill at all. Started to get, I believe that's from wheel slip, but I could be wrong. Now, I haven't used sand in this sim. And the reason for that is because the old simulator, Train Sim World, uh, had no working sand at all. Like you could, you could hit the button and it would, you know, it'd make a sound, but it did nothing physics wise. Now in Train Sim World 2, they do allow you to do that. So that's cool to see that that is a thing. I had to go look it up. I had people telling me, hey, you should use sand. And I went and Googled it and yep, now I, now I should in certain situations, but we're, we're all right here. I've been listening to your comments on how to properly operate the train with the dynamic brake. I will try to remember to do that. I don't think we're going to have any of that today, though. I'm pretty sure we're going to be uphill all the way to where we're going because we're going somewhere totally different than last time. Oop. We get that little caution note on us there. Let's put in notch five. There we go. So we're at least on there. Lights are good. Wipers you can control with the rail driver, but I'm not going to uh, mess with it there because we did it manually through those little switches, which are cool. And I got to say, I'm impressed that we're actually getting sounds this, you know, long into the run because usually there's a bug that it, it takes away like the wiper sounds when you have a rain mission. So it's good to see that they fixed that at least. So the patch fixes a lot of things like sound wise and little things that you see on the actual exterior of the train that are more correct to Union Pacific. So a lot of stuff there, you can check it out in the description below and go install it if you have this DLC. It's made Cane Creek a lot more fun, in my opinion. And I want to let you know, very soon I will be doing a sponsored video for Dovetail, for Train Sim World 2. Now, I know what you're saying. Why would you do that? And there's two reasons here. I'm going to knock it back into the... Okay. He didn't like that at all. I think go to fourth here. Yeah, we're getting that yellow light a lot today up this hill because of, because of the rain, probably. Um, the reason why is because one, I'm going to make, uh, you know, doing a sponsored video. I'm going to make all of my DLC I've paid money on back, which is great. Uh, like, you know, that's who wouldn't if they were in that position to do it. But two, it has a unique opportunity for the style of video that I'm going to be doing. So. I couldn't say no to it for that reason. I thought it would be really cool. And I think I might learn something out of it. So I don't want to spoil too much. But I will be doing a sponsored video for them. Uh, it's with the new Rush Hour DLC that's coming out. So I will be playing that. And my opinions are my own. You know, I'm just going to... You're going to see it for what it is. You know me. I showcase the, the game. And you can see the, the any of the faults that are there. All right. Let's drop this in the fifth here, man. This thing is really struggling up this hill. That I can tell you, 2.7 miles. We got the yellow signal there. And uh, we got our buddy over there. How you doing today, man? Doing better? Man, they're so depressed. So, so, so depressed. All right, everything's looking good. Yes, it is. 
Let's keep an eye for that wheel slip. Yeah, the yellow. We're not even going to make it remotely close to 60 miles an hour, let alone 45. So 2.4 miles to the 30 mile per hour zone. Still pushing along here, 23 miles per hour. I'm gonna try to get it up here and to run eight to seven. Uh, I don't know, man. I'm gonna keep it in seven right now, notch seven, because we're at a 1.4% upgrade. We're really climbing a hill here. And I don't wanna push it too hard if I don't have to. That would not be wise. That is for certain. Although it's doing good now. It seems like we have grip. No, we're getting a little bit of that problem there. So I'm gonna drop it back into six. There we go. Wonderful. Two miles to Thompson Springs. I haven't seen any crossing so far yet either. Interesting. Well, happy Monday to all of you. I hope you guys are having a great week so far. I hope you had a great weekend. I certainly did. We had a friend in town and we've been having a lot of fun hanging out with them. That's the one thing that is very, very true. You buy a home in a vacation spot, your friends and family will flock to you and want a vacation. So that's where I've been. <laughs> but I've been having fun, for sure. Oh, it's doing that weird thing with the sound. We get that warping, warble sound. All right, nothing ahead. We're all good. Uh, I'm gonna let this grade come down a little bit and then we'll put it back into notch seven and maybe get a little more speed out of this thing here. But I'm doing all she can right now. I mean, that's, we got a lot. Oh, it's slipping again. Okay, put it in fifth. We got a lot there. Although, you know, let's see. Let's let's see if sand, if sand will help us here in this situation. Let's put it in six. Let's see if we get any yellow. We're gonna let this stable. We're going to seven. We're gonna see if sanding will help here. Because it just could be the, the grade and the rails are wet. I don't know. I'm not that good at train sim, you know this. This is all foreign to me when it comes to, down to it. There we go. It's getting some speed going. I'm waiting for that yellow light to turn on for that warning. And then we're going to hit the sand button and hope for the best here. That's what we're going to do. Oh, it's doing pretty good there. Let's go ahead and go into eight. There she goes. I have any issues now so far we'll see how it goes tomorrow's a big 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 deal for a microsoft flight simulator the sim update 5 comes out tomorrow i am super stoked for that been waiting for it and we're gonna have a lot of great things there with that update and yes it will be coming back to the to the channel. I've just been really busy with a lot of things, a lot of different series, and I just kind of go with the flow, you know, playing games that I've been wanting to play. And yes, I'll do another uh, next life, new, whatever, yeah. Live the life, that's what it's called. <laughs> we will do another live the life, I promise you that. All right, we're looking good here. Any crossings? I haven't seen any crossings on this one so far, so hard to say. See, this is what we should have done probably the first time. Oh, there it is right there. Let's hit sand. Turn the sand on. See if that helps. That's uh, not... Nope, nope, nope. Didn't do anything. Sand. Yeah. I don't know if that, that helps at all. Doesn't seem like it, does it? We have a crossing up here, yay! Use our horn. And here we are coming through the crossing now. 500 yards, a 30 mile an hour zone. We're right on the cusp, so we'll be all right here. I'm gonna keep it put it in notch six because it's just a go via location so we don't have to stop here 
Oh, that was fun. We got to use the horn. Yay. We got to use the horn. I did check the line, so we're good. Red signal, 1.4 miles. 50 mile an hour zone in 1.4. We're okay, though. It's We're still in technically a 30, so let's go ahead and keep it. At, let's put it back in 7. We're still climbing a hill. I don't want to lose all our speed, you know? That'd be silly. I don't want to do that. Proceed to the end of the passing siding and stop before the signal. Okay, so we got... I don't know how long. They haven't told us yet. Let's find out here. Together. Okay, 1.1 miles. So we're okay on that. Is that a crossing coming up? I think so. I think we got another crossing. All right. Okay, well, the train was not happy with us right there in the crossings, getting my little cinematic shot and was going beep, 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 beep. That's okay. I dropped it down into notch four and she seems to be behaving now. It's this grade, man. We're not used to having this grade. Let me go ahead and chop it back into five. Uh, 700 yards here anyway. And we're stopping here, so you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna go ahead and just back her down to like notch two for now. I'll keep the bell on since we are still in the siding here. I'm gonna keep it on until we stop. So 530 yards to our destination. And I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with uh, how everything's been with this patch. This, this was a lot more fun. It could be the route too. But I'm telling you, if you guys own Cane Creek, get this patch. Everybody's like, you got to get this patch. You got to get this patch. And I went and got the patch, and guess what? There are no instructions on how to install that. So I showed you in the very beginning because I had to do that. I had to dig through a bunch of comments to find somebody who was asking the same thing, you know? All right, let's go ahead and 140 yards here. Start introducing our automatic brake. Go ahead and full service on that guy. This should stop us. Pretty darn good, and we'll add our independent brake here, too. Just coming to a stop. That is helping us. All right, sweet. We are here. Kill the bell. We'll have to wait here for a while to allow traffic to kill air. Okay. I guess we do continue on here, then. I suppose, I suppose. But yeah, it took hours of searching for me to find how where to install that. I couldn't find it because it was so abstract. It made no sense. Oh, that was it. Debriefing. Look at that. We did pretty darn good there. 21 minutes, 13 seconds, 5.9 miles, 83.54 yards walked. That's not very much at all. We didn't get any medals or anything. How sad. Well, there's our performance graph. We did actually pretty good there. So can't be too upset with that. Go back to the main menu here. Well, folks, that is going to do it for this episode of Train Sim World 2. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. Be sure to check out that patch if you guys have in Creek. It really does make a difference. And I will see you guys next time. Take care. I often get asked, Jeff, do you have any merch? And the answer is yes. You can check out the link in the description or you can just click right here on this video and it will take you to the merch store. Thank you so much for all the love and support. I do appreciate it, guys.